You know, when I started NPR 20 years ago, there were not a lot of African-American males in the business at all that I observed. There were so many times where I was the first or the only in the room. The only or the first in the room in 2017 is a tough pill to swallow. I did not allow this painful disappointment of racial discrimination to destroy my dream. I was the first one to open a golf office in downtown Kansas City, and the first woman, I think, in the country to open, African American woman to open an office. When you think about all of the inventions and things that our people have overcome, I mean, like, so, you know, baseline is I love being black. But of course, you do have challenges that, um, that you have to work to overcome. The only people who are really talking about and who really understand how big the diversity problem is in PR are the people of color. This industry is a very cookie cutter industry. My intern class is a very much Tory Burch shoes, long shot bag intern class. And if you are Latino or African American and you can fit in in that manner, great, but if you can't, then you're the outsider, and most people of color often are. PR in general, we get paid to think. If people have a low expectation for you or of you, they automatically don't see you as being able to solve or fix their problems. So you may not have as much responsibility either right away, or it may take you a while to, even as you're more senior, to get, you know, maybe client face and stuff or, or real work to do. I started off meeting someone who was black in PR in the very beginning of my career. And then it was almost 15 years later before I met another black male who was senior enough to really be a mentor to me. And not much has changed in the business. If you go, for instance, to a large agency and the most senior person of color is the DNI person or the diversity person, that's a good clue that that organization has a diversity problem. There were times you would work on a project for months and months, and when the client finally came in, you thought you would at least get to meet them or be a part of the meeting, but they may take someone else who didn't even work on a project who looked a little different. Maybe there are some bias with the client. You know, you just never know what it was, but as a, as a black woman, you kind of made a mental note, like, okay, interesting. You know, I'm sure other people have told you being in a meeting with, you know, you'll say something, a white man will say the same thing, and everybody's like, oh my God, Chad. <laughs> like, that is the best idea we've heard. And you're like, okay. I mean, there's so many freaking initiatives out there. At the end of the day, it's about action. Are you implementing programs just to say that you're diverse so that we can have conversations about you winning awards or are you checking the box? Diversity and inclusion initiatives in the PR space are really great at entry level, and in some cases, middle management. But they're not great at increasing diversity in the leadership ranks. Yeah, we would love not to have diversity quotas. I mean, we're not animals, and I hate to, that you know, you go into a company and you say, well, we're gonna hire this many African-Americans. From an outsider looking in, it makes it feel like, wow, you really have to implement that? That is actually sad and kind of disgusting in conversation. But when those quotas are developed, it's because it's not happening organically. I don't know what an alternative would be to not having a quota, because the alternative of not having it means that we're not at the table. So at least now with a quota, I have the opportunity to try to be at that table, and now it's up to me. There's a major difference in your experience as a person of color in PR at a PR firm or an agency versus your experience in the, on the corporate side. So much of how you get hired and promoted on the agency side is highly subjective and it goes completely unchecked. Young people of color hear things in their reviews like, not client ready, or needs polish, right? That type of commentary would never make it in a corporation. I was looking to my left and my right and a few of my colleagues, they were already managers and they had teams under them at 24 and 25 years old. 
I have the same experience. We came in at the same time. I have additional education. I have master's degrees. I have certifications. I've studied abroad. And for whatever reason, I'm still not good enough. In many of these big agencies, the first entry point is to enter. And oftentimes they pay very, very low wages. So if you are a person who doesn't come from, you know, higher socioeconomic means or status, then um, your path to progressing in the internship pool and in that sort of environment is going to be limited. Until agencies are holding their people managers accountable for diversity, you're never going to get that issue solved. When you see us, um, even in places like PR Week, we're talking about diversity. So you never really hear us talk about the work. That, that's why black people also tend to try and shy away from multicultural pro projects or working on multicultural brands, because the fear is we don't want to get pigeonholed as the black thing or the black project person. But then what happens is, we that's our core competency. Who else could do that work but us? But we also need to stand up and be visible because we can work on those general market accounts just like anybody else. The world, the consumer world is changing. The U.S. population is changing. Their population shifts changing all over the world. And if you are at a firm that doesn't have representation from any of those communities, how are you gonna serve clients and help clients have conversations and engagement with those communities that is authentic. Change will happen when black folks on the corporate side say to their agencies, until your team that's gonna service my account is reflective of my company's culture, is reflective of our consumer base, you're not gonna get our business. Diversity and inclusion is, in PR is never going to happen on the agency side based on the warm, fuzzy, right thing to do. It's incumbent upon those of us who've had some modicum of success in the field to make sure that we're reaching back and engaging young professionals. I hope that people start to give minorities a, a chance. I know so many um, people of color in particular in this industry that could absolutely do the next job and do it really, really well if given a chance.